What up, what up everybody, it's your boy. We coming to you from the Landstar facility here in Laredo, Texas. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a quick tour of the yard. And um, I'm gonna get to what I normally be talking about. First of all, shout out to everybody. Shout out to my new subscribers that hit me up recently. Shout out to everybody that hit me up on the book. Uh, you know, there's a little rumor going on here that uh, um, that got my joint canceled. Nah, I had that falling out. I didn't have no meetings with nobody and nothing like that. But I mean, everybody has a moment. You know, I was pissed off because I was about to lose a lot of time. I did lose a lot of money on the next low behind that crap. But um, sometimes you just gotta you gotta speak, man. You just can't let you just can't get can't let people run you over and shit. And um, <clears throat> that's what that was all about. But um, we're going to go here in the yard and um, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of things. And um, now I'm going to get my ass out of here because um, I had pulled out. I had to come back in. I never even left out. It's just too many trucks. So I said, let me go ahead and do this real quick. Because I was trying to do it the other day. And um, Big Mike. Shout out to Big Mike. And uh, the video kind of did that loop over thing. Whatever the fuck my phone be doing. That's why sometimes now I go live. Because I already know what's going to happen. But uh, I'm going to hit one of these parking spaces right here. Real quick. I'm only going to be brief. Uh, all the truck and trailer spots are taken in the back, so uh, we're gonna go in there and uh, just do a quick walk around and walk around the yard. And then I'm gonna go get my load. I'm, I'm gonna talk to y'all before I go get my load, though. So, there you have um, the facility, got a bunch of bobtails trucks and trailers that's why I parked here um, <clears throat> it's only going to be for a few minutes I could park over there I mean this whole section is the hazmat section but there ain't that many hazmat loads sitting out here right now that's the bobtail section they got cameras everywhere cameras on everything man they probably see me in Jacksonville or something I don't know <clears throat> This is the cross dock facility. There's the 60 ton crane. That's the biggest crane in Laredo, they say. That section over there, they transload step decks, flatbeds, and RGNs and everything over there. There's some uh, uh, transload trailers going into Mexico. Mexico operation trailers. Outside carriers in here. Well, that's a Landstar, but there do be outside carriers like that when that's a Mexico truck. But um, they be up in here dropping off loads. Somebody ain't throw out the trash yet or something. Damn. So the facility's been up a little over a year and a half. I think February makes two years. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see if this is open. Uh, damn it, man. I don't want y'all seeing my cold, man. So we in there. I could go in, but I ain't gonna do it. But let me see. My bad. It's cross dock operations. While we at it, let's just go ahead and do it because I ain't gonna be walking all the way around. What's up, man? So, 
when you come in, you check in with dispatch on the other side over there of the wall. When you like doing a transload or whatever. And then they'll tell you come out here, whatever, see somebody in there. And they'll tell you what to do from there. <coughs> so we're going to walk down the ramp. A little patio, I guess, for the dispatch or whatever. Southbound loaded trailers. Northbound loaded trailers all the way over there. There's step decks and flatbeds on the other side of those trailers. These are like transload trailers going into Mexico. Those step decks and flatbeds over there. All the empty trailers go all the way out back there. I think those are empties too. Some of them are Mexico operation trailers. <coughs> Yard sits on 50 acres, man. So... I don't know what he doing. Come on, man. But, uh... What's up? New yard. Oh, I don't need to take you. Hey, not right where no gear, sir. Eh? Who? Not right where no gear. Oh, no? So no, how did I get no, in? No. I punched my code and got no. in. Well, eh? he said no drivers in here. I'm not going to show his face. Eh? <laughs> Doesn't say anything about no drivers in there, but... Uh, well, well, that's a bullshit statement because I just walked through there the other day and went in there. Now, maybe no driver coming down the ramp. Hey. But anyway, so I'll walk around the other way and get back in. But I think that was kind of like a, a bullshit statement because how did I get up there the other day to do a transload? <clears throat> how did I get in? Who knows? You know, some people would say one thing and it's something else. Just like the situation down in Virginia a couple weeks ago. Well, here's the outside carry bringing in a load. So anyway, to get all that noise, uh, I ain't going all the way over there though. <coughs> That's fucked up that they got me walking all the way around this shit. I think he's just talking to be talking. Maybe somebody can correct me on the video. But how the hell did I get in? I came in that way the other day, or well, off of one of them docks. So no drivers can go up there. That's a lie because I just went in there. Now maybe he said no driver on the ramp. That's what he meant. And he just left out a couple of words. But uh, there's some, there's some. I think there's some false information going on right there. But anyway, we're gonna walk inside real quick. I'm gonna show y'all the uh, crane and all that. Southbound loaded. Some of these transload trailers. They got about four or five of those big forklifts. The 60 ton joint. Got a couple of drivers over there. There's a couple of super loads sitting in the background. <clears throat> So nice little tour of the yard, you know. He ain't want his face seen, old boy, but he ain't look that cute anyway if, if chicks is looking. <laughs> There's a super load of two over there. One of them left yesterday. I don't want to call it super low, because I don't even know how much the damn thing weighs. There's one over there bigger than that. So now I'm walking around. You see me. There's a little tour to the outside. Pretty nice setup. We're going to go inside and see what's up. So there's a dispatch. They're not in on Saturday, I guess. There might be somebody in the other office over there. We got the showers. <clears throat> this is where I came in at earlier. So, here's what dude was talking about. So, my bad. I didn't read that. I went on through. I punched my code in. Won't do that again. So, you got to show up on some doors on the other side. Okay? So, cause I was wondering how the hell did I get up in there. Oh, I didn't come in. That door, though, I came in a different door the other day. You got the showers. 
laundry room. There's about five or six showers in here, I think. And then you can go back out here to the driver's lounge. And that's it. A few vending machines. And that's the yard. <clears throat> for the most part. Nothing to go crazy about. It's sitting on 50 acres. But the majority of it is covered up with trailers. And nothing to sit here, you know, because some drivers like the yard. They want to go to the yard. They want to live on the yard. They want to sit in the yard for days. We ain't doing that. We trying to get in and out. And there's a few trucks sitting over there. They live here and all that. And they probably in Mexico chilling. But... We're not trying to do like the Swift Pams and all them. They don't call you to the yard and keep you in the yard. If you come to the yard because you did something dumb and you got to do something, take a class or something, or <coughs> um, you're doing a transload or something like that. Other than that, you ain't coming to the yard. Maybe the cabs class or something. So, but um, we're going to get ready to roll. And, um, I think my thing's not. Oh, I put it on the wrong thing. That's what happened. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. And um turn you off. You have seven hours and thirty-eight minutes of remaining drive time. Just making sure we Gucci there. <clears throat> Out of here, man. But yo, let's get to talking about driving and all that. And this thing's got a big delay. There we go. I don't know what it's all about with this delay, but it's the longest damn um, release I've seen. You know, and all three of them do it. <laughs> it's funny. But anyway, um, we're going to get to talking about driving and stuff like that. Got drivers reaching out to me off and on. Uh, about rates and stuff. And if I didn't say it, shout out to Big Mike, shout out to Dennis, shout out to uh, Tyrone, shout out to um, Eddie. Talked to them the other night, we were sitting in the yard, they rolled up on me. And uh, we was just talking, you know what I mean? They seen from YouTube. Now, I want to say something about YouTube, man, real quick. Just how they rolled up on me at the yard. Any of you drivers out here can get rolled up on Watch what you say on Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Now I'm approaching. And ain't nothing, not a problem to approach me out here. We'll sit down, we'll talk, we'll do all that. Um, but drivers talking crazy on the internet, thinking nothing's gonna happen. You better think twice. Now there's a rumor out there that a YouTube trucker beating up a YouTube trucker. Supposedly there's videos and all this and, and, and pictures. And I had a word with somebody about it, you know. But uh, it's really not too much none of my business, but it popped up and somebody was asking me about it. Like, no shit. And I put it out there and then people was going out here to find out. It was supposed to be somebody else and somebody else and it really turned into somebody else and somebody else. And um, <clears throat> y'all didn't see the video. I don't need to say no damn names and shit. But even if it was, and the video's true, I didn't see it. Just, just for anybody, watch what you're saying, man. Watch what you're saying out here. Um, you 
because it could be bad for you. I mean, it could be real bad for you. <clears throat> That's why you see me. I roll solo most for the most part. I got my friends on Facebook, but I don't have no groups, no, you know, me, uh, big ass groups on Facebook or whatever. Because one person think they're better than the next person and all that shit, and then. Somebody don't like something and they start calling you out on certain shit or whatever. I already seen this before. Uh, but then it gets a little personal. Y'all see me hit something one time on some personal shit a while back. But the things I see on the YouTube network, it'd be like hilarious shit. Motherfuckers mad because this one doing this and this one doing that. I mean... Gotta cut it out, gotta watch what you say and watch what you're doing. People know what you're riding in and shit out here. Or whatever. <clears throat> but anyway, freight rates. Getting these calls about these freight rates. Everybody's asking, like, yo, what's up with the rates? Why is it this? Why is it that? You know. Um Look, man. I don't control the rates. When I first came to Land Star in 2015, drivers like, you came at the wrong time, you came at the wrong time, this and that. There's different drivers that's going to tell you you came at the wrong time. Now, some of them are going to tell you you came at the wrong time because, see, they live in a certain region and they just run like one or two states. And it's shit for them. They don't want to go anywhere else, so it's the wrong time. Then you got things like what's going on now. Trump with the terror stuff, the elections. And whatever else is going on, brokers getting their revenge from how everybody was collecting four or five dollars a mile for a minute. Um, hold on for a minute. When you check in this yard, you stand in the uh, right hand lane when you're loaded and all that, and you got a trailer, and they'll check you in. What's up, man? Hey there, is this your trailer, man? Yeah. Is Yeah. Yep. Can I get your name? Calvin. Calvin what? Leak, L-E-A-K. <coughs> One second. All right. How you doing? Yep, you too. You come into the yard, they check you in, they put a little stick on your trailer with a barcode and whatever, then you check out and that's it. Now, if you got a load and all that and it's got to come here and stay here, that's a different story. They got a camera reading your license plate and everything when you come out. Pretty good setup. But like I was saying, man, watch what y'all saying on the internet, man. Because people know what you're driving and all that. But back to the rates again. You got brokers getting their revenge because y'all getting four, five dollars a mile. Some of y'all on the internet flashing little checks, your little money and shit. You ain't seen that before, man. We've seen a little twenty-five hundred dollars before. $1,800. We've seen that already. Ain't nothing to talk about. Ain't nothing new. Some people say that's motivation. Uh, it's more than motivation. But, um, yeah, man, just brokers getting their revenge. And not all of them, but there are some that just ain't about shit. Agents. Oh. Speaking of Asia, I know what y'all did with your 424 thing, your QXQ, whatever you want to call it, I called y'all, y'all think y'all funny. I know exactly what y'all did, but whatever, I mean, that's why I don't call them, for the most part. I called them to see what was up, same practices. <clears throat> but, um, like I said, there's a variety of reasons why you come at the wrong time here or whatever because of what I just stated it's not the same for everybody now right about now yeah, being that it's the elections and all that stuff I just mentioned yeah, it ain't a good time for a lot of people so that's what it is out here, man. There's more than one side to the whole uh, 
situation out here. Slowed up, terrorists, elections, brokers getting revenge. You hear drivers say it's bad right now because it's bad in their section because they don't, like I said, don't go nowhere. So, um, that's what it is, man. Next thing, man. You know I can't. You know what I can't stand these kind of drivers right here. These drivers that go out here with their own authority, or whether you're at Landstar or anybody, and you take loads for like a dollar fucking forty a mile, dollar thirty a mile, dollar fifty and sixty a mile, and then this motherfucker come in. When we tell him like, damn, that was some bullshit. Somebody said they took a load from North Carolina, or they was going to take a load from North Carolina to Oklahoma. Um, two thousand bucks. First of all, it's cheap as hell. North Carolina sucks right now, but yeah, still though, I, I have to figure something else out, man. But forget about North Carolina in this situation right now. Let's just use any other scenario, just a regular day, because it happens. Then you had this fucker come in and say, "Oh, y'all the experts, this and that, and blah blah blah." Well, maybe his truck's already paid for and this and that. Now, somebody else jumped in and took the load for even cheaper than that. Look, man, I got a 2003 Freightliner. Ain't been on the road in a minute. It's got 1.5 million on it, and I didn't fucking... There was no need for me to even throw money at it or even rebuild it. But since I had it off the road and I wasn't interested in another driver at the time, I took it off the road. That truck been paid for since 2010. My money moves didn't change, man. People, I, I'm still going for uh, 250 and up. Then, after I got the truck, I am not gonna see and, and limit myself to a dollar fifty. And it has some bullshit ass excuse. And normally that person doesn't even say it. Sometimes they do. It's just that other random motherfucker that walks in and says, well, "Maybe this truck and stuff is paid for." Motherfucker, you setting the bar for everybody else now. When we just fought to do like three dollars or whatever and shit, here you come with your little fucking damn the Grinch and stole Christmas bullshit. Like goddamn, you have any respect for yourself? Nah. I know people cut throats and, and get lower bids, but get the fuck out of here. I seen a load the other day. Dollar eighty to fucking Los Angeles. I said, ah, "You bugging." Dollar eighty to Los Angeles on a step deck? Who taking that? I don't care if it's Landstar. I don't care who you with. Who is taking that shit? Forty-three thousand pounds, man. Guys are an embarrassment, man. The worst type. Go along with some of them agents and brokers I'm talking about. The worst kind. Some of the people with your own authority, you're the worst kind. Taking these stupid ass loads and they come back saying some shit like, well, Landstar got garbage free. You took the garbage! Like, like Landstar, the only one with garbage ass loads. TKL got garbage loads. Robinson's got garbage loads. I, I can go down the list all day. I got phone the phone numbers in my phone, man. Good brokers, bad. Well, I don't got no bad brokers. If I got a bad one, I damn sure I put their name on the shit list and probably put do not load or he ain't about shit. That's how I put their names in the phone. Um. Yeah, man. The worst type. Another driver that's the uh, type of driver I can't stand. You have somebody like me or whoever post up a job and say something about a job, then you get this one motherfucker that come in and be like, all right, I'd be like, make 50 cent a mile, 55 cent a mile, driving um, for me or whatever, right? 
And then you get this fucking driver that uh, comes in with his bullshit saying, you know, after you say you're looking for a good driver, well, you're going to need to pay more than that uh, if you need an experienced driver. Shut up, motherfucker. Because here's where you're wrong. I screamed a bunch of drivers. They might not have nothing on their license. 20 years. You go back and look at their employment history. They moving around more than the West Memphis lot lizard, man. And hey, can you stay anywhere? I know people leave companies for various reasons, but when you got 11 employers in three years, there's a goddamn problem, man. Major problem. We're talking about 11 employers in three years. Let's just say it's damn near four every year. What the fuck are y'all doing this at? What the fuck is wrong with some of y'all? I've been to companies, drove, first guy I drove for was like 11 months. MS Carriers. Left Swift and all some other shit went down, got the fuck out of here. I went to Burlington Motor Carriers. My beef was with Swift coming in there, turning trucks down, fucking shit up. I got the fuck out of there. Anytime a big company is just having another day, trans carriers, another company take over a company like that, regular over the road company, get the fuck out of there most likely because they're going to fuck you over. I went to Burlington Motor Carrier. That happened again. Right in the orientation. This is the, 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 the years of 01 to like 04. People was just buying up everything. Uh, Celadon buys Burlington. I'm in the orientation, sitting around, looking at these busted ass trucks. I'm like, damn, the fuck out of here. I got the fuck out of there. I went and drove team for Inman Trucking out of Leland, North Carolina. I drove for them for about like eight months. Just so, well, I want to see where the fuck I'm going with this. Because about that year two stage, you should know what the fuck you're going to do with this shit out here. Then I went to Heartland Express. And I drove for them for a while. They ran me out the building because I was arguing over making $600 paychecks. For the most part, those are legit reasons for leaving a company, right? When you leave a company because you didn't get home one time on the day you asked, but you got home all them other times, you had a bunch of good weeks and also you had that one fucked up week. Oh, you left because they got fucking W9s and they got fucking lights, like I said before. Little stupid shit. And you're doing it every four fucking months, three months? One had nine employees in like a year or a year and a half? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Like I said, everybody leaves companies for a reason, but when you leave for stupid ass shit and then you want to go work for something, eh, ain't nobody want to fuck with you, man. Nobody want to fuck with you, man. Because you're going to lead them, too. Because you didn't like something they didn't do one day. You rolling with me. You pulling a flatbed or a van. If you're a van, you're just a fucking van. But if you pulling a flatbed or a step deck, yeah, I might put you on a power only or something like that or whatever. If you drive for somebody else and they doing a certain thing or whatever, and you get mad at them, you don't like some shit they don't do, man. Some of you motherfuckers just don't want to work. There's people that work at Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King that hold jobs longer than some of y'all. Real shit. I'd rather have one of them if they fucking, you know, had a CDL. But some of them ain't cut for this shit. They talk about it, but they ain't going to do it. But that, that's they shit. Wendy's, McDonald's, you mopping floors at Food Lion or wherever the fuck you at Pathmark. Piggly Wiggly. These motherfuckers on the job longer than some of you boys and girls driving fucking trucks, switching companies every 45 fucking seconds, man. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Stupid ass reasons why y'all be leaving. You leaving for two more cents a mile, now you ain't getting the miles. You left because they got automatics. You ain't getting the miles. Or you don't even get home. It's always something. Man. 
you're not gonna get everything in this motherfucker out here. So, you gotta put up with some shit somewhere. But moving around like a West Memphis lot lizard, uh, that shit is unacceptable, man. For stupid ass reasons, fuck it. And I'm gonna get off that topic, man. Cause I'm gonna go ahead and get me some food, some Mexican food, and go ahead and get my load and get on. But I wanna give a big shout out to everybody. And um, hopefully y'all got something from this video. Y'all know I pop off crazy and shit. Somebody said no filter, that's how I am. I don't switch up on people on these videos. It's always the same shit and get the same content pretty much you don't see me say one thing and come back and listen nah so that's how I want to keep it and I appreciate y'all checking me out and all that man um y'all cut that shit out on YouTube man with these little beefs and shit <laughs> y'all watch what you say on this motherfucking man about somebody or what you gonna do to somebody or whatever and shit cause when they get you you might be slumped in your truck somewhere you might be at the back of the damn pilot somewhere in the fucking ditch it's not a game man so yo I'm gonna go in here and get my shit I might have left something out on the video I'll come back with it another day truck's doing good I gotta take this one into the shop cause the damn radar went off and knocked the cruise control off I hate that shit that shit is only on here because the company that had it before is uh was a major carrier and they're self-insured. The insurance company doesn't even give a fuck about this shit, really, because I done checked around all over the place. And they, they're like, there's no discounts for that. Gallagher, no discounts and all that, but whatever. So now I got to go in the shop and go get this shit worked on. It's a damn warranty issue, so we'll take it in. I went in for another warranty issue the other week. It was a quick fix. So... Don't believe what people tell you about them warranties because when they go buy their trucks and shit, they don't know what the fuck they're looking at when they're buying them. So you got to know what you're buying. That's your shit. You bought it. You go ask the questions to the salesman, the service department, and whoever in the warranty department. Give them the VIN number and you'll be good. And you just go buy it thinking you got something. You ain't got nothing. So, but anyway, man. Peace out to everybody. Let me go get my Mexican food, some opponent guys, whatever and shit. I'm out this motherfucker. Later.